In this video, I'll show you how to reverse audio in GarageBand for Mac, and then I'll share a couple of useful ways that you can use that reverse audio in your projects. Alright, first off, to reverse an audio region in GarageBand, open the Editors window at the bottom here by clicking the Editor button. That's the icon here on the top left of the GarageBand window. Next, select the region that you want to play in reverse. Then in the Editor window down on the bottom left, select Region and then check the box for Reverse Playback. If that's all you came for then, thanks for watching, please take a second to hit that like button on your way out. Otherwise, stick around and I'll show you a couple of really useful ways that you can use reversed audio in your GarageBand projects. A great way to add a bit of dynamic flair to your songs is by adding a reversed cymbal hit before a chorus, breakdown or drop. GarageBand has some great cymbal samples in its loop library. I'll choose this one. I want to go through the steps we just covered to reverse it. Now if I place that reverse cymbal sound before the change in this project, here's how it sounds. It could definitely do with a little bit of tweaking to get it sounding just right, but I think you get the idea. You can also do something similar with vocals to add a bit of colour and character to them. At the start of this vocal region, I've been looking for the right thing. If I chop a bit of the start, then copy the chopped part and paste it in an empty space, and then again go through the steps that we outlined at the start of the video to reverse that individual chopped bit of a vocal region. I can then drag this reverse vocal region so that it comes right up against the original vocal region. Here's how that sounds. And I can then add some effects and even some volume automation to get it sounding just right. I've been looking for the right thing. Let me know your thoughts on reversing audio in GarageBand down in the comments and give that like button a good hard slap on your way past. I really appreciate it and it helps more people see this video. And if you want to learn a bit more about using automation in your GarageBand projects, watch this next. <laughs>